Hi everyone, so today we are quickly going to learn how to use FileZilla FTP program to upload and download files from your local system to your remote system or vice versa. So the first thing we need is the FileZilla program. It is a free to use program. So to download FileZilla, you have to go to Google and simply search for FileZilla. And this is the website of FileZilla project.org. Click here and you will see this download links. So for this, we will select this client. And from here, you will see this uh, my system is Windows, so I will have to download this. But if, if you are using something else like Mac or Linux, then you can download uh, from the links here. Okay, it is very simple to install and download. So I will directly show you the next steps. After installing, open FileZilla, it will look like this. Now the information we need to connect our remote server is this host information, username and password. You can get this information from your web hosting company. It is very simple and easy to find. Okay, once you get this information, just fill it here. This is usually your website uh, domain name and this is the FTP username and password. Then in port, you have to enter 2122. Um, it is usually provided by the web hosting company or you can simply fill this information and click on quick connect. So the FileZilla program will automatically try to find the right serve, uh, port and connect to it. If it successfully connects, it will show you a warning like this because um, you have to make sure that you trust the certificate. So just check the domain and then click on OK. You can see the status of the connection here. If it is unsuccessful, it will show in red here and you can see currently it is showing successful. Okay. So now we have connected to our server on the left side of this FileZilla program. Whatever you see here is all the files on our local PC. And on the right side, this is the remote site. Uh, all these files and folders are located on the remote server. So what we can do is uh, we can either create, we can create directory, create directory and enter it. You, we can also create new files and we can upload and download files. So first I will go to this web directory here and this is my website's public directory. So here just for this demo, I will create a new directory and upload a new file and show you how it is done. So for that, I will simply click on this option, create directory and enter it. So I will name it FileZilla demo and click on OK. So you can see we have directly entered this directory. You can see the URL uh, where we are currently at. So now if I want to upload this file from my local PC, I will have to select this, click right click and then click on upload. So you have to make sure that you are in the correct directory where you want to upload the file. Um, okay, now we can see that uh, the file upload has been completed successfully. You can see the transfer status here on the bottom of your screen and you can also see the failed transfers here and you can see the queued files. Okay, so now what we can do is, I will show you how you can create a new file. Let's say I want to create this new text. So I will create this file here. And uh, similarly, we can also create some other type of files like PHP. Okay, so this is how we can um, uh, create new files. Similarly, if I want to download some file to my local PC, I will have to select here and then click on download. So you can see here, this uh, file has been downloaded on my local PC. And now if I select this file and try to edit this, um, it will ask for some multiple options. Um, usually you can select this, but I would suggest you to download the file to your local PC and do the editing, whatever you want to do. 
and then re-upload it later so that way it will be much better and that's how simple it is to use FileZilla for uploading and downloading files now a few extra tips is use FileZilla only to upload large uh, size files because when you try to do it directly from the web interface like if you are trying to do it from the cPanel usually there is a file size limit and when you are uploading a lot of files large number of files not size so filezilla will take a lot of time so i would recommend you to zip the files and then upload it on your server or your pc and then you can unzip them later so that way it will be much faster rather than trying to upload uh, non-compressed files it, it takes a lot of time and another tip is if you want to connect to the same remote server multiple times what you can do is save this by default filezilla also saves it in the quick connect here uh, just click on this drop down and you will see the, the previous uh, login information or you can from here go to site manager and from here you can um, create your new site and from here okay you can name your site and fill the host information username password and then it will be saved so you don't have to enter the same username and password every time so i hope you found this video useful if you have any query please post them in the comments i will try to help you out